Hello and Merry Christmas on this Christmas morning. Uh, so glad you have joined us and welcomed you, welcomed us into your <laughs> home. Welcomed you into your home on this, uh, on Christmas, this Christmas morning. morning. That's what I said, Merry Christmas. That's, That's how we start. Right. Joe and Kim Palo with you on this uh, Christmas morning with Tennessee Valley this morning. And again, we thank you for joining us here this morning. I know you've got a lot going on. You've got a lot of family in. You do. You're sitting there opening gifts maybe right now. In right fact, that one there. that's right that there under the tree, that's mine. The biggest <laughs> one, mine. that's mine. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And if they were smart, they went to Sifted Bakery and they got some yes. of those cinnamon rolls yes, that, they did. that they do there. And those are in the oven right now, mm -hmm. smelling awful mm -hmm. fine with the coffee perking. I'm my and mouth's you know, watering. And you know, right now, I mean, all the kids are up. Right, I mean, the it's kids, early. It's six thirty. Right. It's six thirty, but they're but up. they're up and they're looking and thinking that one's mine, that one's yours, that one's mine. See, the thing with me when I did that, I just went in there and went, okay, so. All of these are mine, <laughs> and then process elimination. My brother and sister would get a few here and there. This one's not, oh, but the biggest one was always mine. Oh, well, of course it was. As it is this year. As it is, and you've already got it, though. That's exactly well, right. Well, you know, you've got it back. A 55-inch. 55 55-inch, <laughs> tell it, I, you can't get, well, you can get bigger. Right. But, but nobody in my small. house has gotten bigger. <laughs> that's right, not in our uh, small area. That's right. But I mean, it's the, like being at the theater, you're like this. But that's good. That, it is that's good. good. It looks, it's very, and thank you, I must say thank you. You're Kim, welcome. Kim bought for me for Christmas um, a television that she will never get <laughs> never to watch. Never get to watch. Uh, as long as there's games on. Now, let me just put it that way. <laughs> there's not a game on, you know. Uh, it's like you're too good to I'll me. I'll try. He's always been I'll selfless. Try. Try. <laughs> or know, selfish, I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, so we've got we've got a wonderful show on this Christmas morning, and again, this is the first time I think we've done a show on Christmas morning, isn't yes, it? Yes, I think so. Uh, and of course, uh, we've we've got our we've got your mother in town. We do. We, we have do. our kids that we'll we'll see here shortly to, uh, this morning and see them open up their toys. Uh, one's twenty five <laughs> and one's thirty two, but they still expect toys, and uh, we still get them. Um, so, but and then, uh, like you said, your mother's here. My mom's so, here. That's another gift I got for you. I know you're too. You yeah. are just. I mean, just, surprised you with I your mean, mom. You are. And wait till you see a little bit later on in the day. I got another surprise <laughs> gift for you. I'm my sure. dad. <laughs> That's my gift to you, my dad. That one's going back. Oh uh, yeah, that that <laughs> will be hurry. before Walmart opens. We'll be standing there. What are you doing, Joe? What am I here for, Dad? Please, just it's a good reason. There's a the reason creator. for everything. I know. But we've got a wonderful show. We do. We've, of course, you know, today, last night was the big night. That was Those the big you, night. Those of you, obviously, you know, last night was Christmas Eve. So last night was huge. Uh, a lot of work that was done last a night. A lot of Not work. On our I mean, part. you know, and nowadays they can track Santa, you know, by satellite. Yes, I they mean, can. I remember they started doing that when I was a kid. I, I was one year we were in Fayetteville, North Carolina for Christmas, and I can remember. Them tracking the the local news there, they spotted a, mm -hmm. the uh, reindeer, and I was just torn up. Of course, I mean, back then they did it Morse code. <laughs> right, 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 they did it Morse code. It's true, and it was in black and white, right. and it was just sad. But yeah. anyway. it was about the same time that we landed on the moon. <laughs> yeah, well, no, that was earlier. It was actually. earlier. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But, wasn't that but no, but now they fun. have great ways of tracking Santa, and we are very lucky, Joe, because they tracked him all the way here. They have. That's what that's what I was gonna say. Our, our our guest for it. Now understand this: big night, no sleep. Right. Right Very from tired. the night, right to the day, and we've got him and his lovely wife here. Right. In the house. And she's. I mean, she has heard it for a long time. I mean, she, she is just right. She hears it all the time, and she has been. And you know that it wouldn't have gotten done unless she was on him now, Kim, for the last here. year. I know. And, and you're gonna be naughty <laughs> hey, for next year. Hey, all I'm year. saying is it's already over. There's not a whole lot he can do. Not at this, this point. year, but next year comes around. <laughs> I know. But at this point, I Santa, mean, Santa, I know you did all the work. <laughs> and I know, I know it you're the one in charge. Done without a great woman behind him pushing but, him. But if you were now, if telling you were, him how to do it. If you were, if you were, if you were PC. And how to get here? I mean, you he were couldn't PC, have got here if it wouldn't have been. He's for got her. a Garmin. <laughs> um, if you were PC, you would say not behind him. But beside him. But I'm realistic, and she was behind him. Well, yeah, she was behind him. Saying, be, be really Santa, realistic. I mean, seriously, it's almost Christmas. Are you going to, you know, get to this? Right. Huh? Along with the garbage. 
Right. Better. Well, he's got he's got a lot on his plate, though, Kim. There's a lot of places to go in the world. <laughs> uh, so, but we've got we, as you obviously know now, we have Santa and Mrs. Claus yes, with us do. to talk about last night, and we've got a, another spec. We got one of his best prize and, employees. Well, and you know, and not, not anything in, but we've got the worker behind it all, the one that you know, the one, the one, the he's supervisor. The he's no, the brain. So. Santa, Santa's like the general. Ma it's kind of like our situation. <laughs> right. Santa's like the general See, manager. Yeah, right. And then, you know. And the, then there's the people that do the work that and do the, the brain They're supervisors, the they're managers. And Santa says, you know, do this and do that. And that's how it that's gets. Right. Done. But we've got one of uh, Santa's, like I said, the prize elf right, uh, the with head us elf. in the house. Head elf that's going to be here. Uh, and he is worn out. I mean, he oh, is gosh, so tired yeah. because, I mean, truly, not only was he, you know. And we want to ask, we want to ask about Herbie. And if he ever really got to be a dentist, you know, <laughs> because it, it was a long fight. You people that watch Rudolph know what I'm talking about. Kim apparently never saw Rudolph <laughs> the Red Nosed Reindeer I cartoon. I, I have no memory. But Herbie didn't want to be an elf anymore. Didn't get any joy, and it wanted to be a dentist. Dentist. Right. So I don't know if he ever got his wish. So we'll find out if Herbie got the got the dentist <laughs> gig. But uh, we've got, and then we've got, of course, we'll talk to your we've mother. We've got my mom. Yep, she's in town, and she's usually in Florida most of the time. You know that, and I love Florida. Don't get me wrong, yes. and you were brought up there, but Christmas is a little bit different down there. It's a, yes. it's a lot warmer. Flip-flops, beach, right? shorts, Flip t-shirts. In fact, when we moved to Florida the very first year back in the 70s, late 70s, or, well, mid-70s, actually. Um, actually, that first year, we went to the beach on Christmas Day. It was a novelty, you know, back then. But she's here, and it's always good to be with family on Christmas yes, Day. Is. And I know a lot of people out there, they always ask about Mom. They always want to see her when she's in town. And so we'll we'll let everybody take a gander there real quick. Right. Well, At my mother, I mean, she's 80 years old, yeah. and she is just beautiful. She's yeah, just, she is. I mean, and I've, I, you know, I'm glad I've got part of that, that blood running through me. Absolutely. And, and she is... is Kind of from here, so there's a lot of people out well, there. Well, she that lived know. here for a very long yeah, time, so from 1960. Know her. You know, during the 60s, and we had that long shag carpet and the beads on the windows mm -hmm. when we lived here. Those were the days. Those were the days, my friend. <laughs> yes. Your microphone is turned towards you, so you may want to pop it back out where people can hear your that lovely voice. <laughs> Kim's <laughs> speaking of lovely voice. Kim's <laughs> going to sing for us a little bit later on. <laughs> Uh, the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. I know. So. Have you noticed how everybody's into the 12 days that have meaning this year? They never had meaning until this year, and now every Well, there was meaning. We just really them. didn't know. Now oh. we're finding out. Uh, okay. And you know why that is, don't you? How people are finding this out. It's that new fangled internet thing. <laughs> they got that to get on there, and I don't know. They, they googly eye it, and there it is, and it pops I, up. You're right, Joe. I mean, you know. You have some instincts. I have it. I'm telling you. You do. He he's been telling me for the on. past six months or so how the internet's going to internet catch thing's on. The internet thing's going to catch on. That uh, e Gmail <laughs> stuff know, is going to be. Poo, people are going to be and, typing. And that face house or face. My, my or as my mom would say, Facebook. The Facebook, right? Uh, MySpace, <laughs> Facebook combined. That's I all. I haven't even heard all. about MySpace anymore. I, guess, I know. I think it's kind of like a thing of the past. It's, it, it was the. It's kind of like the the VHS and the beta thing. You don't. Uh, no, the beta kind of. The VHS went. Went, went came. Head, you right. know, and the beta went. Now VHS is gone. Now it's all DVD. There you go. So it's all. So. Yeah, we'll talk technical <laughs> stuff a little bit later. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we've got Santa, and Mrs. Claus in the house. Mm -hmm. We've got the prize managing elf, the number one elf for the clauses that kind of help get it all uh, serviced last night and keeps that the reindeer fed and right. the, uh, the sleigh oiled right. and greased. And we've got um, mom. your mom. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a great show. Again, we thank you for joining us on this uh, Christmas morning. We hope you're having a wonderful Christmas day. Uh, thank you for inviting us in your home and letting us be a part of your family celebration. We're all big. We're all family here. And the wonderful thing is, we're on all over the world, Kim. So we're people right now are seeing us in Yugoslavia celebrating Christmas with us. Huh? They don't? Okay. Uh, James told me they did. I don't think he would lie to me. Not on Christmas morning. But anyway, back with more Tennessee Valley this morning. Again, Merry Christmas after Merry this Christmas. commercial break. Stay tuned. Great local sports right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Keep up to date on all your Walker Valley sports news Wednesdays with the Walker Valley Sports Zone. Get a behind-the-scenes look at all the local high school area football with the pregame Thursdays at 10. 
and it's a Friday night tradition. Football Friday, every Friday night at 11 o'clock, right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Hello and welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning on WTMB. As you can see, we are joined by the prize couple of this time of year, Santa and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> it's been a heck of a night for you, Santa. Oh, it's been a long night. Very oh, long. Wow. Now, yeah. you know. It's been a long year, hasn't it, Mrs. Cole? It has. <laughs> getting ready for, for last night. You know, there's a question I've been meaning to ask you, and uh, the few times that I've set the milk and cookies down for you, you've <laughs> taken them, and we've never got to chat. But I wanted to ask, <laughs> when, you, when you start your trek on, on Christmas Eve, what time do you get started doing this? Do you wait until the sun goes down, or because I know you got a long, yeah, go all over the world. Probably so. top secret, I'd say. Well, I don't know. You see them in the air, <laughs> and you can hear them, and so. Well, <clears throat> because I have to travel around the whole world, I start where it gets dark the first. Ah. And then is, I work yeah. my way around the world. Right. At right. that time, and of course, there's only one time a year that I have the magic 
to be able to do that. Sure. Yeah, exactly. And so it, that, it starts at that time. Now, and I know you got Rudolph as the, as the lead reindeer because right. you know, he's got that nose and you're able to see. Uh, before Rudolph, though, like, did you have problems seeing in some of these wintery... It, at times we did, but we always seemed to find our way. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's but a Rudolph, magical night. Rudolph yes. makes it a lot easier. Yeah, of yes, course. Does. That's, so it's a... Uh, and, and, and I want to thank you for the, everything that I got this year. There's a couple of things I didn't get we need to talk about when, before you leave, but that's okay. Well, I, I think, don't think that I'm, was when you were probably on the naughty well, that's list. What I'm I, I don't, you're I'm right, thinking, Mrs. Claus. I don't think I was as nice as I could have been I'm this year. I'm telling you. Well, and you know Mrs. Nice. Claus is going to be keeping that list because that's actually, our job. No. Actually, <laughs> Mrs. Claus, Claus and the elves keep the list. Right, because yes, Santa could and, never and say Santa, no to anybody. Santa then no. takes their their guidance ah, and yes. we go from there. So I'm talking to the wrong person here. Need to be speaking. <laughs> ah, okay, this is right. cause I apologize. The, the elf and her have you. got a bond. <laughs> yep. And we will be seeing and they, the and they load They load the sleigh up and then <laughs> and of they course drive they it around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drive it and deliver the toys. But you double check, make sure everything's Oh yes, mm -hmm. oh yes. Because they, you know, they make and every once in a while they make a mistake. That's true. And then Mrs. Claus has to triple check what Santa double checks, and then they can go <laughs> out the door there. <laughs> what a feisty wife you got there, Santa Claus. Uh, I never knew you were like we, that, Mrs. We, Claus. We have a lot of check and balances. <laughs> oh yeah, well you yes, have to. A lot of yeah, checks yeah. and balances. Right. Now, now let me yes. ask you: This past year, have you noticed? And, and I'll ask you, Mrs. Claus, since you've got the list. This past year, has, has there been more? Uh, has the naughty night uh, list been more than others? The nice list been more than others? How, how does it uh, pan out? You know, out? I really have to say that I'm seeing um, a lot of the kids who used to be on the naughty list, I think they're finally growing up a little bit, and Good. those kids that used to be on the naughty list are gradually working their way up to the nice list. Now, we've got a whole crop of other kids that are new on the naughty list, that they'll have to mature a little bit so they can work their way. Right. And then some big kids never get off the naughty. Oh, I wasn't naming any Kim, names. I wasn't Kim. either. But it may have taken me 50 years, but I am on the nice yeah. list a little bit now. But it yeah. was it was me that got the gift. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, well, okay, and, and now let me ask you this, because I know too, when you, when you have all these, and not just children, you get a lot of people Absolutely. that ask for a lot of stuff. Um, you can't give them everything. No. no. So how do you pick and choose? Well, one of the things that I do with the children is they, of course, you know, many of the children will go through uh, many, many books and they'll circle everything and they would like to have everything. And, and we know that we can't do that. So what we do is <clears throat> I listen to them and I hear them and I, I, I say, you know, they may go through a laundry list or a, of toys and I say, which one would you want more than any of the others? Ah, and, always and then I try to boil it down or get it down to something that's reasonable and uh, and, and then and realistic. you know and yeah. realistic yes. and realistic <laughs> goals you know when you have a kid that comes in that's four years old and says you know I want an Xbox 3 I want an iPhone I want an iPad <laughs> and, and you're going uh, okay I understand all that but we'll see what we can do right it's time for Legos yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right right so right. Uh, it, it's it's a uh, you know you, you know that not everybody is going to get what they want but we try to make sure that the, we, the kids get at least something that they wanted. And you've done a and, wonderful job. And that's where we go. He does yeah. do a good job. Yeah, and, and, and like we said, behind every great man. <laughs> Is it's a Mrs. wonderful Claus? woman. <laughs> <laughs> even, Mr. Claus, even Santa, there's a great woman behind. That's exactly right. And so, and I mean, you look beautiful as always, and you're holding up pretty good to have been out yeah, all night. To be up you all know, night. it uh, it's it's always a long night. Now, of course, when we finally get back to the North Pole, mm -hmm. uh, then that's when we take our long winter nap. Yeah, yes. no kidding. I know. But, we uh, got lucky. I mean, we got to get and get him be his last stop. Yeah. And you know, he's exhausted. Yeah. I, know. I mean, I think. Kids. Right now he's full of sugar. I think he's full uh, so of so many cookies. What's your favorite cookies cookie? and hot chocolate? I think. Uh, our favorite, uh, and I say ours because the reindeer, even sure, though they're absolutely. not supposed to eat them, they they do that seem to true. get some now and then. But chocolate chips be, seem to be the the favorite uh, cookie. Yeah. And, and the kids are very good about that. And this year, as I've gone around throughout the before Christmas and, and visited with the children, I've tried to tell them to feed some carrots out there, right? You know, some carrots yeah. and stuff like that for the reindeer. 
And, and even on myself, I've tried to cut down a little bit, you know, instead of a, a, the dozen of cookies, three or four are okay, you know, and that kind of stuff. So. And the glass of milk. You yeah, know. Oh, yeah, you got to have the milk, you know, and right. the, the or milk the hot makes, chocolate. Right. Yeah, 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 that's true. And cutting back, and that's okay. Yeah. But, you know, that one day a year, we all, we all tend to... To absolutely cheat a little bit on that one That's day. Absolutely right. Well, you know, now, Mrs. Claus, I, I, this is another question I was wondering. When Santa finally leaves with all the toys and the reindeer yeah. and he starts that trek and you say, goodbye, be safe, be careful, <laughs> you yes. know, that kind of thing, what then do you do? Like, you just sit back and relax? I turn usually the TV go right into my computer and I'm <laughs> tracking him on the computer where he's at and making sure he's on track with the stops that he needs to make and because uh, he's going to call in a few minutes right and see how to get to where right <laughs> making sure <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Saying. yeah <laughs> yes so I, I i'm up all night too making sure that everything's running smoothly and that everything's going the way that it should so making sure all the boys and girls are sound asleep mm. yeah. so that Santa can deliver their That's toys. That's one of the things we try to tell the children beforehand is, you know, when mom and dad says go to bed, Absolutely. it's time to go to bed and go yep. to sleep because Santa doesn't stop unless they're in yes. sleep. Right, right. And in fact, there's times where I pass the house because I know that their children are up uh -huh. yeah. and then I let the elves come later and deliver the packages. Ah, oh, see? see? Yeah. Stuff like that. So it, they, they miss out on a lot. Yeah. And asleep. honey, I think he comes on Christmas night and, and the day after Christmas at the adult's house. And if you're not asleep, then <laughs> <laughs> That's not true because I've been awake before and I've seen him come in and put the stuff down. I was just thinking, I was thinking if I was Mrs. Claus, I mean, I think I'd take a hot bath. Well, <laughs> that, see, that. that's why you're not Mrs. Claus. That's why he married her and not you. She's, she's tracking him. She's and I helping. would be like, oh, she's helping. Oh, God, that's See? over. Oh, it's not that I wouldn't want to, but my <laughs> yeah, she's got to wait till he gets got back work. and yep. then you guys can celebrate together. That's true. Now, now, this is another question I've always wanted to ask you and haven't had the, the, uh, the opportunity. Before, Chris, before you make your, your Christmas Eve flight, do you have like a special meal you like to eat and a special meal you like for Mrs. Claus <clears throat> to cook for you? And if so, what is it? No, I really don't because I'm going to eat too many cookies. Yeah, <laughs> so true. it's better to go out hungry. Hungry. Right. And Didn't think that, of that way uh, there's least calories that I'm going to bring with me. Mm -hmm. So makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah. It's uh, and, and the excitement and the all the stuff that's going on it's just too yeah. much to sit down and eat anyway. Yeah, that's true. And you yeah. have a lot to happen right yeah. before you leave. There's just yeah. so much uh, you know, getting the sleigh ready, getting the, the reindeer ready, mm -hmm. getting all the toys packed. The list of names, the locations, all that kind of stuff. It's just, right. I mean, it's like right to the last minute as the sled takes off. Yeah, see. So. And, 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 well, and, and another thing see. I've always thought of, too, you know, like uh, uh, maybe, maybe, I know we, we like all, all, and I'm using this as a football reference, we like all college football teams because you're Santa Claus. You like them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> the University of Georgia has a, a, a dog called Ugga, U-G-A, and and then Ugga lives so long, and then Ugga one dies, and then Ugga two comes, and then Ugga three, four, five, however many. So like Donner and Blitzen, and you know all of them, they just go forever. Or do we have like a Donner two, a Blitzen three? How does that uh, work? They. Uh I'm not trying to throw you a curveball here, Sarah. <laughs> no, Merry no. Christmas. Um, <laughs> I'm just, you know, because I'm thinking, these <laughs> things I actually really did think we, of. We do, we do have replacements if somebody gets sick They're or hurt. stuff like that. Yeah. They're hurt they or whatever. They have families. But we, okay. we yeah. keep them all. It's all a family type of reindeers. Yeah. And, uh, and yes, we do have the, the mainstay, Donner and Blitzen and Dancer, Dancer and, and all Prancer. them right. and stuff. But yeah. uh, uh, we do have others that are standing in the wing that can take the place. Because, you know, yeah. during the year, maybe yeah. it may hurt their leg mm -hmm. or right. one of their you hoofs. Know. You know. But it's got to be beautiful from up there when you're coming in and all the different oh, lights and beautiful. all of the different beautiful things. It is very nice. There. It's, uh, you know, if you, if you talk to an astronaut or a space type guy, uh, he's going to tell you how pretty it is from up in the sky, and, and we see it of that whole night. It's just gorgeous. Yes, I'm sure. And, and it's uh, a beautiful time. It's a beautiful season. And then you have the difference we were talking about, you know, when you're going to come from up north, all the snow that there is, but yep. down mm -hmm. even in the Caribbean, right. I mean, even the palm trees are all decked out at Christmas. That's one of the time. questions Everything. I'm always asked is that, uh, you know, by the children, they go, well, what if I don't have a, a chimney? Right. Then how do you come in? And I go, I go through the front door. Right. 
You know, I mean, that's, that's very simple. We go through the door. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, that would uh, make sense. Or the back door, but, depending on Or the back right. door or somewhere, but we come either. through the house and, sure. and we get in there. You the won't chimney, get left out just the, because, uh, I'm sure you didn't get left out, kids. No. Santa got in your house somehow last yeah. night. Yeah. And, of course, the more chimneys I go up and down, the more Mrs. Claus gets upset because then I get all <sighs> covered in soot yeah. and ashes. Yeah. And yeah. Well, you can like see a little bit already. He's I have a little leftover as it is from... The trip yeah, this but a, yeah, you said there's a lot of chimneys you got to go up. And well, down. you know, this is where that magic comes in yeah. because right. the magic yeah. dust and the, everything that I have that I can use, it's very simple. It's just poof, and you're, you're up and you're down. Now, have you ever gone down a chimney and maybe they forgot to put the fire out? No, because <laughs> I always make sure the yeah. fire is out before. Mm. That's <laughs> worried me. That, that smoke was the big that's, that's giveaway. That's number one. Yeah, see, that, that's... <laughs> That's always worried me when I was a kid. I mean, we, we had a chimney that didn't work, but I'm thinking, still, what if, you know... But there is a little trick to that is, is okay. as I go back up, I make sure that the fire is lit again if it was lit to start with. Ah. So I See, relight the fire. Santa Magic. He is a master. Yeah, I'm is. telling you, Santa. I'm, t I'm starting to think that uh, he's, we always he's on have to, all cylinders. Yeah. We have to stay ahead of the game. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and the thing is, is that if you didn't, of course, all these children, well, not just say children, yeah. a lot of even adults that still think they're kids would be very disappointed. Right. That's true. That's true. Surprisingly, and we have many, many adults that still believe. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so consequently... Uh, well, That's of course. Why would they not believe right. Santa? Why would they not? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And you know, but even though Santa, Santa, and all the rest, we do know what the greatest gift absolutely. of all That's right. was, and that this day is special in right. so many ways. Yeah. The, yeah. Reason the, the, reason. Reason. the reason for and the season. And Santa, and I'm going to, I'm going to gloat a little bit on Santa this year because Santa was asked by a very special group, which was the Marines Toys for Tots, mm -hmm. to help I them present that. toys to the Sandy victims in Washington, wow. D.C., and New Jersey, and in that area. And, uh, and he was very fortunate to be with that program this year and, uh, and got to go with the Fat Albert up to Washington, oh, D.C. Oh, no kidding. And, uh, and deliver a lot of toys to the, uh, to the victims of Sandy. Lockheed so. Martin uh, Aerospace in uh, Marietta, Georgia donated uh, $17,000. $17,000 wow. to help the elves for the toys. And we went to Toys R Us, yep. Yep. Uh, the oh, Lockheed Martin employees and yeah. myself leading the pack. Aww. And we basically took that money and we cleaned out the store. Oh, well, and yes, every children, Santa does have to rely sometimes on other people to help. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Yeah. Because sure. when you get that busy, sometimes we have to have a little help. The elves and just And we had a lot of all. help and, uh, and it worked so, out really well. And we yep. and then the Marines came in with their airplane and we loaded them up and, yeah. and took it up north and, and delivered to all the, the unfortunate children That's true. up sure. there. Uh, we forget, that's you know, even yeah. though that, that was back in October, recovery, like we know here on our own city, yeah. the recovery does not happen, it doesn't happen overnight. overnight. No, yeah. and even months and years to come, there'll be so, a recovery. So, so. Um, I know that was something special. Very for special. You. It was. Very, Very special. special. And you obviously made made. Many, many thousands kids. Of kids. Yeah. Well, I tried to let him let me fly the airplane. They let me sit in the seat, you <laughs> yeah. know. But he uh, said he was a pilot. Airplane. He told them, he, I'm a pilot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm a pilot. I've done this before. So. <laughs> yes. I, and if I, I think I'm Santa Claus, I can yeah, figure I it out. I ride that sleigh. Yes, that's true. So. No, but we had a great time. And the kids that's were terrific. very, very happy with it. And uh, they really came out. Good. Yes. That's terrific. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And, of course, everything that you guys do is, it's, yeah. that's why you're Santa Claus. That's and right. right. Well, we and this get is our hometown that. Santa Claus. And we love you guys. Well, yeah. and we love you and we love our community. And we appreciate so much allowing us to go out into the community, into the Christmas parade and the tree lighting. Mm -hmm. and. We do all of the university's events and, and a lot of churches and that right. sort of thing. And we're just so blessed to be able to do this because we get so much more back, so much more back from well, the children. Well, if you hadn't had a chance to see it, though, Santa, we have the parade running on WTMB <laughs> in its entirety yes. uh, like four I'm times a week. But, them a you know, the only complaint ah. I yes. have is that Santa's at the tail end, and by then everybody's gone home already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we got to move this. We got to put Santa at the front. Put him at the front. Exactly. Right exactly. exactly. That's very true. That's true. Well, uh, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you so oh, much for coming. Well, after such a busy day, get some rest. Get some rest. Get some rest. And, and I'm sorry you if you didn't get what you want. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I, I'll work. I'll work, work on my attitude. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. We're going to be back with more on this Christmas morning. Right after this break. Stay tuned.
Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guests comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning on this Christmas morning. Again, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Thank you for having us into your home this morning. And Santa and Mrs. Claus have left the building because they were, they were a big night. But we have Nelfin, who's just Nelfin. And he's very tired because he's had a big, big night. So maybe a we A big could, season. He's big been se busy for a long time. Well, we got to wake him up. You want him to wake him up? Yeah, but I hope he's, he's not like you. 
Uh, just do it easy. Just say, because honey, he's, just you're snort. awful crabby when you wake well, you up. Well, let's see how Nelson is. Hey, Nelson. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. my it's good. It's oh, over. My goodness. Goodness. Is it Christmas morning? Yes, Christmas. Oh, you've done it. Is it oh. Christmas morning? Yes, it's done. It is. It's it Christmas. Is. I had a terrible dream. Oh, oh, my goodness. I had a terrible dream. What happened? I was dreaming that I was painting the big red wagons. Only I wasn't going this way. I was going <laughs> this way. Okay. Anyway, I was painting the wagons that say flyer on them. And I was painting them, and this was my dream. I was painting them, and I just finished all the red paint, and I started on the letters that say, what do they say? Flyer. 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 <laughs> yeah, they say flyer. And I thought, flyer? Oh, my goodness, flyer. That means it's time to go. And so I ran out of the barn, and I looked around, and nobody else was at the North Pole. Oh, this was the no. scariest thing I've ever had happen. I said, oh, my goodness, nobody, they've left they, Santa's left, all the elves are left, Mrs. Santa's gone, what am I going to do? And then I woke up, then I woke up, and there still was nobody there. <laughs> what so happened? I'm confused. It's was Christmas it? morning. Mm -hmm. Today, yeah. Christmas. Right now. Well, that answers it. Now I know. It's Christmas morning. They're, they've done their jobs. It's all done. So, you, and boys and girls, have you had time to look under the tree yet? Go look, go look. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> A little more to the left. Uh, the doll. The tr with, the, with the red hair. Sarah, that's yours. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I'm, I fixed the dolly's hair. Well, it does not like my hair. But, yeah, but it, <laughs> yeah, I really, you kind of lacked a little time on yours, well, that, but yeah, well, that's understandable. I know. Come on, Kim. Anyway. It's what happened to mine. Well, you didn't do morning, the kind of work Elfin. Really Elfin. Early. Let me tell you, the toys that, that I helped Santa make are so amazing. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, Isaac. Isaac, Isaac, over here, over here, a little more, a little more. The, the, uh, the fire truck, the fire, no, the fire truck. No, the fire truck is yours. The, the army truck is Jonathan's. <laughs> okay, he's got it, he's got it, okay. Wow, and you keep all that in your head? You know what everybody's Absolutely. getting. Absolutely, it's amazing because, you know, Santa comes in and he gives us this, I mean, list. Like, you, the, the list is like, goes around the world three times. Sure. It's so, and if Santa would write a little bigger, right. you know, then it would go around the world eight times. So I kind of like that he writes tiny. But anyway, <laughs> I, used to, I used to keep the list with me all the time. But you know, we're in the North Pole. You know that, we're in the North Pole. And you know, it snows in the North Pole and Santa writes on white paper. Mm, so uh, I want you to think about this, boys and girls. When the wind blows, <sighs> what happened to the paper? It blew away. Oh. So I didn't know what to do. Uh, uh, you know, everybody's list, it was gone. So I've learned ever since then, keep it up here <laughs> right in the noggin. And you do a good job. I do. Uh, to be you. as that, tired. You know, I shake your hand. You certainly may. Not no, many people. Not right. many people tell elves they do a good you job. You do a wonderful job. Everybody gives it all to Santa. And yeah. this is close. Oh, no, don't get me wrong, boss. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. You're like yeah, me. You're talking trash after it's all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't, I mean, you know, I want to keep my job. I don't right. want to peace with them. But, um, but, but the elves, we really make those toys. You know, mm -hmm. the John Deere tractors. You know, the green see the green and the yellows? We have to paint and do all those things. And get it all ready. Yeah, we have to get them all ready. And I tell you, the hardest one for me to do is those little tiny, teeny tiny little race cars. Mm. Oh, I can imagine. You know, with the the little, Hot Wheels? No, tiny. No, the little bitty tiny ones. So there's the little macro minis. something yeah, or the, another. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're, they're the tiniest. And, and their wheels are so tiny. And i tell you what I did one time. I had a whole, almost I had 5,000 of those little teeny tiny wheels. And they were over here in the, in the jar. And I turn around and here I am doing my thing, you know, and I'm trying to find a little thing. And wouldn't you know it, wouldn't you know it? I, you know? I, would, you know I wouldn't it? know it. I wouldn't know it. <laughs> you wouldn't know it. Well, you know what? You should know we're it. We're really crowded up there in the workshop. Mm -hmm. And somebody accidentally bumped into oh, it. Oh, my goodness. And knocked over 5,000 of those little tea tiny wheels. So what are we having to do? We're having to crawl around on the floor, and we found all of them except for one. Uh, Wasn't that exciting? We found right. all but one. So is there a car one. with just three wheels on it? Yeah, I was getting ready to say. <laughs> so, so whoever out there that so has a little, stuck. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoever out That's there why I knew what it was. Had the, the little tiny 
um, macro micro cars, right. a little tiny race car with only three wheels. Please don't get upset. Please, <laughs> please, please, please. Because, you know, a lot of times you get your toys and there's something wrong with them or we forgot to put something on it. And everybody gets all upset. Please understand. We're working all year long to make the best we can. Okay, so so we just really need everybody to be as sweet and careful. You have the nicest, nicest smile, Joe. I thank you so much. But you know, when you were younger, you didn't, you didn't have that smile. Well, sometimes I didn't get what I wanted. Well, but that's the point I'm trying to make. Oh, oh, that's the point I'm trying to make. He's got a smile now, but when you were little, you didn't always have no. the smile. Now, we need to tell boys and girls, because you're out there. Okay, Jessica, Jessica. The, the little, uh, the brown teddy bear with the big peepo. That one is not yours. No, that one's not yours, Jessica. What? Okay, okay. Well, if you'll do that, that'll be good. Okay, so, didn't you hear what she said? No, no. we, we that, that's the magic of... We don't have magic ears like you have. No, I. To remember everything, to be able to talk through the television, it's, it's an amazing. You can't do that? No. no, we're not magical like you. We're you not. are special. Well, I thought they were magical. They act like they are most of the time. I mean, I'm magical, but they. it's not on this particular day. <laughs> yeah, I knew he acted like it sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, you know, boys and girls and moms and dads, it's Christmas morning. Grandma's out there. What was that sign language? I no, I was doing like this. I was doing <laughs> magic. No, 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 no. I'm not even looking at him, and I can see what he's doing. He's being naughty. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it's Christmas morning. It is. Uh, I want to know uh, what 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 the boys and girls are eating for breakfast. You know, when uh, up up at the uh, up at the uh, North Pole. North Pole. Up in the North Pole, we like to have cinnamon buns mm -hmm. and sausage biscuits. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you now? Do you eat a lot before you guys get everything ready for Santa to go? Oh, absolutely. We eat all the time. Oh. Santa is the one who says he's too busy. You know, when he said that a minute ago, he said he doesn't eat before yeah. he goes. Well, that's because we're doing all the work. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Why? Why should he have to eat? Uh, okay. I thought he left the building. Yeah, well, and, uh, and, and, and well, the thing is, though, he could never get rid of you. You are the top notch elf. I mean, everybody Absolutely. knows Nelfin Elfin is, is the elf. elf. Is Nel just Elfin. Nelfin, yeah. And and is the number one elf, I the am. number one guy, the I'm, head honcho. Uh, that's exactly right. And I've been doing this now so long that I want to tell you, this is a beautiful story. Right. True, this is a true story, really, this is true. <laughs> I, I like to also go to nursing homes because, mm -hmm. you know, we forget, we, we look at the children and we say yes. how special Christmas is for the children. But I go to some of the nursing homes sometimes and, and I go around and I'm talking to the, to the people in the nursing homes and I went up to, to one lady and she was sitting in her room and it was, the room was quiet and it was dark and I went in and I was trying to get her to talk to me. She wouldn't talk. She just sat there. She just sat there, and I said, "Well, honey, let's uh, let's sing some Christmas carols. What what what's your favorite Christmas carol?" She just sat there. So finally, I thought, "Well, I'll just start singing." So I started singing, you know, "Silent Night," very softly and quietly. Don't have that good a voice, but I thought that would be a good one. And she began to chime in and sing with me. And so then, once I had her attention, I said. I, yeah, I can stand. I won't be out of the picture here. So you see how my back, you know, <laughs> from this, working okay. so hard. Well, this is from this particular lady, you know. <laughs> so I said, so I said, honey, I said, I have a question for you. I said, what was the gift that me and Santa Claus brought you that has hurt my back ever since for trying to deliver it? Do you remember this? Now, this was probably back in 1943, 40, 44. And I said, what was that big present me and Santa Claus brought? It was so big, we couldn't even get it down the chimney. True story. She looks at me with tears in her eyes, and she said, my piano. Oh. My piano. And you carried that thing by yourself. But the thing that's so important is for us to realize that no matter the age that we are, Christmas always should have a special memory for mm -hmm. us. So, Joe, I'm going to turn the tables on Joe Pagan yes. this morning, boys and girls, <laughs> and moms and dads, and grandmas and granddads, and aunts and uncles. And <laughs> what was this most special gift that we brought you? Now the most special The most gift? special gift that Santa Claus or the elves left you on a Christmas morning. Gosh, Kim, you so better right. be thinking. Your I already know. There's been, she, she's, yeah, there's been, okay. um, you know, I, I would probably have to say, 
All right. If you have to say it, then it's okay to right. say right. it. Right. I mean, I, I, I probably according to some people. Then, you know, when somebody says, "Well, I'd like to say this," right. it's like, say "Okay, it. well, go ahead and say it." Right. Okay. Right. What would you have to say? Today. Uh, I would have to say that it would be a a, a, a racetrack. Oh. When I was very young, the racetrack you you bought, I, I want you bought me, you gave me, you made. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted a very nice racetrack, and I wanted it for a long time. And I circled every one in every book. Yep. Yep. And the nicest one that I had circled, you got me. Uh -oh. uh, you remember it? I do. Probably I do. like it was yesterday. Well, it had the black track. It yeah, went around good. and there was a there was an up plate, you know, it yes. goes like this and then it went up. Uh, up. It didn't go up when I'm How many like cars? This. No, it had four cars. Four cars. <laughs> okay. Okay. It went around, it yeah. went around like this and it goes up and then it came back down. Yeah. It was the most uh I loved it. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I yeah. fell in love. Yeah. With after that I knew. Yeah. I thought hey, this is Sure. They actually, if you're good, you actually get what you want. Now, yep. there was a couple other things I had on the list I didn't get, but that's okay. Well, well you know, we can't do racetrack. everything. I and know. we don't want to be greedy. No, no. that's We true. don't want to be greedy. No, Let me true. tell you, boys and girls, there are lots of people out there this morning, and, and I don't want to bring sadness up, but right. there are lots of people out there this morning that have had tragedies in their homes, and, and uh, they had to have Christmas early because Christmas morning wasn't going to be the time that was best for them to... Uh, to, to get their gifts. So, and I know that Santa Claus will tell them, you got to go up and help with Sandy just a few days ago. Uh, so some of them, instead of this morning, Christmas morning, they got to get them a little earlier. Yeah. So Kim, I wanna know, what, what was your most special Gift. Well, you know how you were talking about kids that sometimes didn't uh, act real right when they didn't get what they want, kind of there's a little sadness, a little pouting. Yeah, well, yeah. that happened to me one time. I had oh, to, oh, my goodness. Know, Maybe we better I save know, this for your I mama. Know, but Maybe you we know, better save this for no, your mama. Yeah. No, but okay. you guys always came through. I had one in and I had asked for a 10-speed bicycle. This was back in the early oh. 70s, uh, late 60s, early my 70s. Goodness. And I wanted a 10-speed. They were pretty new. They hadn't been out very long, the Schwinn's. Yeah, yeah. And I had I was going to say one. Schwinn, yeah, I remembered yes. it, yeah. And my dad kept telling me that, you know, Kim, that's that's an awful big gift. I'm not sure about that. Oh. So we had Christmas, and it was oh. all over and said and done with, and there was no Schwinn. No Schwinn. And so then Mom, because my family are coffee drinkers big time, and so they asked me to go make a pot of coffee and to go get them. And How I old was, were you? I was, I was in junior high school. Oh, now. good. I, I thought you were okay. making coffee. I was, okay. and it was a 10-speed bicycle. It wasn't one of the small ones. Okay. And so I went up to the kitchen and go make the coffee a little long face pouting a bit absolutely and got to the kitchen and right there in front of the <gasps> sink was a beautiful yellow 10 speed bicycle with a big red bow oh. on it and so then not only was I tickled to get that I was shamed just a little bit yeah. for not acting right yeah. when I didn't get what I wanted to but you guys did come through and I thank you very well you much. know you said some very important things there especially on Christmas morning for all of us to realize that there are so many times in our lives when we are disappointed and when mm. we pout. And uh, let me tell you folks, Santa does it. I've seen Santa do it. <laughs> Nelson, I've, I've done it before. All of us go through that. M moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, boys and girls. Remember, you don't always get the things you want, but you can always in your life have the things you need. Mm -hmm. There's a need in all of us and that need is the most important thing that we have within us. So on this Christmas morning, I want you to remember that. So we, we've had a lot of laughter. We've had a lot of joy. Uh, I don't know who's going to pick up the trash at your house, <laughs> but uh, be sure that you go through, you know, when you're doing all the wrapping paper, if you did it, you, some of you may have opened your presents last night, but if you're opening presents and you've got lots of wrapping paper and things like that, do me a favor and make sure that you go through it. Okay, because I, I guarantee you, there's somebody gonna li lose that gift card. Something right? really nice, right. money, or one of that, those little macro cars. Yeah, you so, talking yeah about. the wheel, the, the wheel, wheel. the little <laughs> macro car could have been in the paper. There you Who go. Knows? See, so, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's a good Christmas morning. It's a it's it's a really good day. And we want to thank you so much for being with us, Nelf. And I know yeah. you had such a busy night. I know you're exhausted. I am exhausted. You yeah. were sleeping here just a few minutes ago. I know yeah. you can't wait yeah. to go back. You know that now. bath that you talked about, Mrs. Elf, yes. uh, Mrs. Uh, Santa doing. I think I think maybe that's it's, a good idea. It's time yeah, for you to have a, a long idea. soak. And we also yeah. know that you know that this the reason for this season is so very special, absolutely. and that our Savior was. This is we're celebrating His birthday today. Ab absolutely. And we're so thankful that we got the greatest gift of all and you know years that ago. Santa Claus you do know the history behind Santa boys and girls Santa was a saint huh? to be a saint, saint Nicholas. you have to be a believer 
in Jesus Christ. There you go. There you go. There exactly you go. right. Don't and again, it. the greatest gift that, and, and we celebrate giving gifts because of that. So Absolutely. we thank you for giving gifts. Thank you gift. for all your hard work. Yes, thank you And so we much. will see you next year. You better believe it. Hey, right. give me a favor. Have me on a few weeks before, <laughs> and then I can get out of a little bit of work. That's there you go. There you go. See? He's a there smart elf. He's a smart Nelfin. elf. That's Thank right. you so much. Nelfin, just Elfin. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be back with more Tennessee Valley this morning. We have Kim's mom on the way when we return after this. Merry Christmas. Stay tuned. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Great local sports right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Keep up to date on all your Walker Valley sports news Wednesdays with the Walker Valley Sports Zone. Get a behind-the-scenes look at all the local high school area football with the pregame Thursdays at 10. And it's a Friday night tradition. Football Friday, every Friday night at 11 o'clock, right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy.
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, did you <laughs> Oops, see that? It's Christmas. We just wanted to show you that uh, but menu. But that's the way it works. That's again. the way each time that's the buttons that they push. Hey, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Tennessee Merry Valley Christmas. this morning here on WTMB. Joe and Kim Palo, and we are joined now by my mother-in-law, Roberta <laughs> Matthews, who's <laughs> in the house and in the house, in the, in the state for a couple weeks. That's right. And yeah. this is the woman that actually can... can Render you speechless. <laughs> Only when she smacks me around. Which, <laughs> which she, is all the time. Yeah, just yeah. Just, yeah. just slaps me on the back of the head. I'm glad uh, you remind me. Yeah, just don't, yeah, you gotta hit me a little bit. Yeah, if, yeah if I got to work on will. I've right. been too good to you lately. I yes, gotta get you have been very good. You've been good to us for a long time, I not know. just lately. It's the mother-in-law jokes, but I, I mean, know, I but know. we always talk about you guys eating fried chicken together up at Carrie's oh, up on the hill. We like our fried <laughs> chicken. Oh, I'm telling you. And it's, oh. and it's good over there at Carrie's. Oh, Let's yes. not talk about that right well, now. Well, we'll be there oh, on, on the Sunday. We will be there the Sunday after Christmas. Uh, we got a week to wait, guys, so just relax. Well, now, this is Christmas morning. Yes, I know. So, and so we've got... You know, that's Tuesday, yeah. and so... We've got, we've got a few days, but... Uh, so we're glad to have you. So are you glad to be back in, yes. in the town? Yes, I'm uh, enjoying it. It's not so cold yet, but I understand it was 82 in Florida today. So we're going to have some cold weather with you, though. 66 degrees. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Real cold. Balmy 66. Yes. I know. I know. But, uh, so, so, Kim, talk about... Well, I'm just tickled to death, and we've had a lot of great memories. I mean, oh, you know, wonderful. as far as Christmas, and of course, yes. we miss my dad, yes. you oh, know. He's been ever. gone three years now. But I remember with Christmas, remember the year with the, the roller skates? Do you remember those? The, the, well, we went, the and I knew we were getting, skates. right, but we, they, I knew I was getting roller skates, and we went shopping for them, and they had me try them on. And so, at Christmas morning, it was the last thing I opened, because I knew what it was. But remember, they had those special ones, those gold glitter ones yes. that had the heels on yes. them? Yes. And they had gone back, and instead of just the plain white roller skates, they had bought me those gold glitter ones mm. with a heel on them, and I thought I was somebody. Now, later on, those roller skates were the reason that I fell and broke my two front mm -hmm. teeth. Yes. <laughs> And then that's all she wanted for Christmas the next year was a green front tee where the song came from. Mom and Dad were excellent Christmas folks, even though we didn't, we weren't extravagant. We really no, weren't. No, your dad, we've always been ultra, well, not ultra conservative, right. but not overboard. But we just made it always, special. Yes, very special. But I think I remember one thing that's always stayed with me that we thought we tried our best to convince Kim that there was a Santa Claus, and she just would not believe that there was. So we were we always went home in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and we stayed with my sister and her husband. So Kim, I, all of a sudden we saw on the news they they started announcing that Santa Claus was coming. And NBC showed Santa, and so when Kim saw that, her eyes got so big, and all of a sudden she could not believe that there was a Santa. So and she believed it. That's right, and I haven't stopped believing we got, since then. Yeah, I have never forgotten. It that. was beautiful. How you just you your eyes got so big. Now you are a child of nine children right yes so, eight seven, girls zero, eight girls and one boy that poor boy bless lord love him they were all ours except for the male he was ezra he was an e but they were all ours what was your best christmas memory as coming from a, a, a such a big family well you know um i remember that we didn't get much from uh the when I was real young, uh, probably about six, five or six, I remember we got a little brown bag filled with uh, a fruit and raisins that had the seeds in them mm. and a piece of candy. And uh, some way they squeezed an apple and orange. I don't know how they did it. It was a little brown b bag. And we thought we had died and gone to heaven to get an orange from Florida and uh. Uh, that. But then one Christmas I got only, I remember we had hard times at that time. I, and my sister bought us gloves. I got a pair of gloves. And then I think, um, you know, probably the biggest Christmas I ever had, you know, when you came from a big family of girls, the older ones, they worked. And Ruby, I will never forget. I, we got so many Christmas presents and back then, she worked for Kreskis. Older people my age will remember Kreskis. It was a dime store back then. 
But I got a navy blue and white dress, and my sister and I, we dressed a lot alike, and she got the pink, but it was folded up with cardboard, and all you could see was the front of it, oh, you know, see. and it's instead of hanging. But, oh, we got a basketball. We got a, a game called Parts. We're about to Parts get ready to go, in. Mom, so I just wanted to say, everybody, Merry you Christmas. have a Merry Christmas. I am so glad yes. that my mother is and here for Christmas, we'll my baby, and, and have a great day. And all the grandkids. Merry